recycling stuff, yeah. Huh? The recycling bottles there, yeah. They don't belong there. Where would you like me to put them? You take them to the dump. Should I walk there with... I don't give a damn what you do with them, but get them out of here. Okay, that makes sense. I'll take them on the bus. You make sure you do. Okay. There's a bunch of bullshit what you're pulling. What I'm pulling? Yeah. Well, if you hadn't run off the one person who would have fixed this, we'd be leaving in it now. Things? Huh? Been lying about things to, uh, to other people about me? Excuse me? What have I been lying about? Why don't you ask David? What did I lie about? Why don't you ask Why me? don't you tell me? Because all I told Ava was the truth. So why don't you tell me why what was a lie? Why don't you tell me? Tell Ava then. That you ran off the one person who would have fixed this? So now I'm stuck here? You're stuck here? Mm -hmm. You get your ass out of here tonight. No, I don't think so. You don't get it out tonight or I'm going to call the police on you. You call the police, I'll tell them that, you that you're a child molester. You want to go there? Yes. You do? Yeah. But i got three different people I can have them call. You can do it. Sir? Do it. Because the vehicle won't run, so I can't leave. Is that difficult for you to understand? You have two feet. Are you retarded? You are. What does my two feet have? Am I going to walk to California with the cat and all the stuff? Am I going to pull the RV how behind you, me? How did you get here? I rented a U-Haul truck and drove all the way up here. Yeah. And then you guys, and then they gave us an RV that doesn't run. Okay. So we had somebody who was going to fix it. But Colin insisted that that person not be allowed to fix it. And in exchange, Colin was going to pay to fix it. Now, Colin's not willing to pay to fix it. So what am I supposed to do? Up and leave. Go away. Go do whatever. Why would I do that? Because this is not your property. All it's doing is causing problems for everybody. Why do you want to stay here? Do you understand what? Problems? This, this was not causing problems. The only reason this whole fight happened was because he kept asking to see his great-granddaughter's breasts. And when she told him that, he flipped out and tried to call me a liar. So your, grand, your father is a pervert. Because he's a pervert, all of this is happening. He's a liar and a pervert. How did that get in here? That's the whole reason this fight happened. He tried to kick me off the property because I told Ava... What I, Vicky told Ava, too. Vicky told you some of the things he was saying. No, 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 no. She no, told you? No, 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 nobody. I don't know nothing about that one. You better watch out. Okay. Yeah, you better watch out. You watch out. But the yeah. whole thing is, is... The whole thing is that the old man's a pervert who has gone back on his word. So okay. all he has to do He's is... He's gone back on his word. Big deal. Leave. Are you kidding? No. I can't leave until He's he keeps gonna, his word. He's not going to do anything. Well, then we're going to go in front of a judge. Yeah. And, yeah, yeah, we're going to. And it's going to be your word against his. Except that I have the papers. For what? It says that he promised that he would do that? Mm -hmm. He signed papers. Uh -huh. I want to see him. Well, you'll see him in court. He has here tonight. I don't think so. I know. Okay. Okay, and I, you know they have to investigate it, right? They have to investigate it when I tell them that you molested your granddaughter. You want to go there? Fuck! Huh? You want to go there? You want to go there? You want to bring the police into it? I'm not leaving. I have Ava's permission to stay in the church property. I don't need your permission. Well, now I got you on tape hitting me, you dumbass. No, I want to see him now. No, you don't. Why? Have because I'm not going to show you anything now. We'll see it in court if you want to see it. Because I do not believe that he signed any papers saying that, yes, he promised that he would do that. In exchange, we both, we, I sat there around the table with him and Victoria. He made Vicky write out a piece of paper saying she promised Jeff Martin wouldn't work on it. And in exchange, he said that he would fix it. Okay, well, now I'll it's not fixed. Him. I will go ask him. Now, now and if it had just been the carburetor, I would be gone. But the carburetor isn't it. It's not my fault that the carburetor wasn't the only thing wrong with it. This was a gift. It's not my fault that the gift is faulty. The gift has already cost me $500. I don't have the money for the gas to get out of here, never mind to finish fixing it. And he said he would. So if he's going to go Why? back in his word and he's going to be a pervert about it, 
That's his problem. Why did it cost you five hundred dollars? Let's see. I bought a battery. I bought the the fuel pump. I bought all kinds of uh, fluids to put in it. I got all the receipts. I put almost five hundred dollars into it. Well, that's good. I'm glad you did, but still, I don't but, see how it's my dad's fault. You tell me it's okay for him to ask his twenty one year old granddaughter to show up over and over again. The whole time she was here, she kept coming back into the trailer all pissed off because all he kept doing is trying to get her to sleep with him, get her to show him his tits, making disgusting comments to her. You think that's appropriate? No, I don't. Well, that's what this whole argument was about because I said it to her, Oi. she said it to him, hey, and he hey, called hey, me a liar. Hey. I didn't see I didn't hear that. You didn't no, I, mean, I told you that today. No, I didn't, I didn't, I didn't say nothing. You had to have said something, and that's the whole reason of the fight. He said that I... He said that I lied to you about the stuff I said about Vicky. No, I didn't I didn't hear that. Well that's what he said. I didn't see that and I didn't hear it. Well that's what he was mad at. I got it on videotape. He I he come over. Well, why didn't know. you leave with Vicky when she left? Because the RV isn't fixed. So, but what's going on, if that is true, if my dad did that, why would you stay here? Because the agreement was we were going to get it fixed. Why would I stay? What, do you think I'm staying for my health? you think I like living in a trailer, Maybe washing you dishes? Leave with, what relationship are you with Vicky? I'm her godfather. Because your mother died in my arms. Not that anyone in this family seems to care. Yes, they do. Really? They care very much. Then yes. why is it okay for, for Victoria to be treated like this? She is counting I have on no this. Idea. I she wasn't is, here. She's so counting on know. this trailer to live in. Do you have any idea how upset she is that it's still not ready to go? And it would be ready to go if your father kept his word. But not only is he a pervert, but he's a liar. Do you want to go to jail tonight? Oh, no. I'm getting the shit out of you. Well, now you're going to jail because I got you on camera, you dumbass! Get over there right now. Yeah, no, we're going to we're going to call the cops now. Yeah. This is a video camera, and you just punched me in the face. Go ahead. Come on. Go ahead. Come on. Come on. Hit me again. Hit me again, you fucking pervert. Come on, you pervert. Come on, you pervert. Is it okay to ask your 21 year old great granddaughter to show your tits? Is that fucking right, you fucking pervert? I did. You're, yeah, you did it over and over again. Every time you were. Don't you dare fucking hit me. Yeah. This is a. No, but you're gonna go to jail tonight, Colin. Huh? This is fun. Well, it's gonna be fun in jail. This is a video camera, you dumbass. I'm calling the police on you right now. You just punched me on camera, you fucking idiot. This is a video camera. You have any idea how difficult it was to not tell him off that whole time? When she'd come back almost in tears because he'd say, every time he'd get her alone, he'd say, ask her to show him her, her, her tits. And we'd make crude comments about, about feeling her up. Or about, the, he took her down the road here and said, hey, am I going to get lucky? 21-year-old granddaughter. She's had enough problems in her life. She doesn't know who her dad is and her mom died a few years ago. So all she needs is this RV to be fixed. And if he isn't going to keep his word and do that, well, then I'm stuck here as long as I can be. So until... why did she come up here in the first place? I brought her up here hoping that her family would help her. And he said he was going to. Why didn't she go to her dad's? She doesn't have a dad. Her, I mean, her grandpa. He is broker than I am. He, We did. We went there first. He gave her, he filled up the gas tank. That was the extent of his donation. He filled up the gas tank. He gave her $100 worth of gas oh, so she could what? get here. No, you're going to be in jail tonight. You're, do, you, do you not understand that I'm videotaping this? You fucking idiot. I just videotaped you assaulting me, Colin. You're going to jail tonight. I just videotaped you punching me in the face, you fucking idiot. Yeah, I almost said it again, so you did do it before. Well, no, he just has to keep his word, and I'll leave. Well, I'll leave as soon as... Do you think I want to stay? 
I want to, I want, I want it, I took it out on a test drive yesterday, hoping it would be ready to go, so I could just leave, because I am sick and tired of having to sit, I have to go in there to take a shower, and deal with his crap every day, so I've been putting on a nice face, and doing it, because he said he was going to finish fixing it, so now all he has to do is finish fixing it, and I'll be gone, you'll never see me again. But that's not wrong. Well, that's that's the agreement. It doesn't matter. Well, it does matter. Hopefully it'll be straightened out. Yeah, well, I'm going to have to take him to small claims court to get him to fix it. Yeah. Apparently. Yeah. Because I'm going, that's what I'm going, I'm going into court tomorrow to get the paperwork for small claims because he's obviously not going to keep his end of the bargain. Nope, he won't. Well, then. And I don't know what the bargain is, so I can't say one way or the other. Well, we'll see the paperwork in court. I'm just hearing what you say. I hear what my dad says. Okay, but again, you have to ask yourself, why would Victoria agree to not let the person who was willing to fix it for free fix it? She put it in writing for him that he would not... Oh, I know that, that means, yeah. But why would she... had an argument. Yeah, but, that, but the whole point of that is that was the one person who was going to fix it. We would be gone now. If, if Colin hadn't made her sign that paper, Jeff Martin would have fixed it and we'd be gone. He insisted that Jeff Martin not be allowed to fix it, and in exchange, he was going to fix it. He did part of it. He did the carburetor, but it needs more. So by doing the carburetor, you can't seriously say that that's the extent of his agreement, because it's still not running. What kind of agreement would be, oh, I'm going to fix it halfway, but you have to get off my property with it. Does that make any sense? It wasn't his vehicle anyway. No, it wasn't. But, but he, he, at the time, he cared about Victoria. And just so you know, while she was here... He made all the agreements. As soon as I dropped her off the airport and came back, he tried to get out of even doing the carburetor. He comes up to me as I get back from the airport and says, I'm not fixing a damn thing. I had, to, I had to confront him with the fact that he had promised to fix it. I don't want to be here. I want to leave, but I need that to be running. So if he wants me to leave, he just has to... Considering how long it's been sitting, mm -hmm. and it is an RV, the chances of it running is going to be... Well, now that I've put $500 in it, it's a great time to tell me that there's a, no chance that it's well, going to be I'm running. Sorry, Ava I gave didn't it, know that. Ava thought it was running fine. Everyone seemed to think it's just great. Nobody ran it. Well, that, how is that my fault? So it's I get a not, gift. It's not, but use a little common sense when something sits for a long time. What is common? going to have problems with it. Well, exactly. That's why I wanted Jeff Martin to fix it. But I wasn't allowed to let the person fix it. So did you take it off the property already? Yesterday I drove it to the gas station and had to call her and, and uh, Mike to come get me because it, it kept stalling. So it's not ready for the road. As soon as it's fixed... It's and a shame that you didn't drive up to Jeff Martin's and have him fix it there. Well, the problem is Jeff Martin is now too busy. I've called Jeff. Jeff said if, you, if, if I had been able to do it three or four weeks ago when I originally said, we'd have it done. What's that? Sure can, do her too. can do what? You want to hit me again? You're going to hit me again, Colin? Is that a threat? Huh? He's telling lies. Well, let's call Victoria. Ask her if you tried to ask her to see her, to show you her tits. Well, I'm calling the police on you right now, Colin. And I'm going to show them this video of you punching me. All right. Punched me in the face on camera. I'm calling the police on him right now. He's gonna. I'm pressing charges, Ava. He's trying to kick me out tonight, like I have anywhere to go. Well, I'm not leaving. I'm, if anything, I'm calling you the police. And, I'm going to call the police and I'm going to show them the video of you Please punching me. Please. You, don't, you think it's okay to punch somebody in the face? I'll kick you in the face again. No, 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 that's go ahead. Come on. Go. Do it on no, camera no, no. again, you fucking idiot. Come on now. Go away. Go. Don't no, I'm calling the police then. You're the one who asked to see your great granddaughter's tits, you fucking pervert. I never even messed with my granddaughter. Yeah, you, because she turned you down. You kept asking. 
I never asked you. You liar! You're a fucking liar! I'll get her on the phone to the cops right now! No, all right. You tell the cops, you fucking pervert! And we'll call everyone else that you've asked! We'll call everyone else that you fucking... Oh, I hope you do that. Yeah? Well, they have to investigate when I tell them that Audrey said that you used to molest your granddaughter. That's what Audrey told me about you. I used to molest my granddaughter? Yeah. Now, do you think your granddaughter is going to protect you after what you just did threatening her boyfriend? Do you know I don't know my gra uh, uh, other girl? Teresa. She wasn't even around here. Teresa, you grew, you raised Teresa, you fucking idiot. She wasn't idiot. even around here. You raised her. You, I got you on camera saying that you used to raise her here. And Audrey told me you molested her. I never let molested any of my children. Well, then why did you try to ask your great-granddaughter to show you her breasts multiple times she, while she what? was here? You kept that asking that Vicky to show you her tits. You're a damn liar. Well, Vicky's going to back me up, and so <laughs> is plenty of other people. I'll call her a damn liar, too, man. Okay. And, and let's see. Right, she's going to do that. You want to bet? Well, I'm going to make sure she don't come down here. That's, you're going to be in jail, Colin. You're going to be in jail tonight. You're going to be in jail. I'm pressing charges for you punching me, and I have videotape to show the fucking cops. So have fun. You're scared of a bit. I'm not scared, Colin. I'm calling the cops. I'm not punching an old man, an old fucking pervert. If I kicked your... You know how badly I want to kick your ass for being a child molester? Do you have any idea? You fucking child molester. You're going to jail tonight, Colin. You won't be here to kick me out. The cops are on their way. Thank you.